Today, I will show you how to create multi-available zone, multi-sublet VPC use AWS QuickStore CloudFormation template. The template's link is in my blog and this video. After you log in to AWS account, please make sure you select US West region. If you don't have any key pair create in this region, go to AWS EC2 service to create one for this project. Save this key in your local for Telnet or FTP to VPC. Let's take a look on the network architecture. One public subnet in each available zone. Two private subnets in each AZ. You only need one internet gateway for each VPC. Net gateway or net instant for private subnet to access S3. This is a good example to support high availability in disaster recovery with four available zones, two for production and two for DR. In this video, we will only create two AZs and each AZ with one public and one private subnet. Each region has one default VPC for, from AWS. Launch quick start. Click uh, next button. You will see there's three AZs in this region. Select two of them. Number of available zones is also two. Now scroll down. You will see key pair name. Pick up the key pair we create in this region, then click next button. Keep everything as default for this page. Click Next again. Review everything. Then click Create. You will see the status is changed to Complete. Now go to VPC Dashboard. You will see Quick Start VPC is created. See this VPC's settings. Select the custom VPC. The CIDR is 10.0.0/16. Go to subnets. There are two private subnets and two public subnets. Let's take a look on the public subnet. You can see associate VPC, available zone, route table, and network ACL. On the route table tab, you can see the target is Internet Gateway. On the Network ACL tab, you can see associate inbound and outbound rules. And go to the private one. The target is S3 endpoint and Net Gateway. The same on the network ACL, you can see the inbound and outbound rules. And on the root table, for both the um, public 
subnet with the two targets, the local and the internet gateway. In the uh, private subnet, each private subnet has one row table. On the road, you can see the S3 endpoint and NAT gateway. The same on the second private subnet, network, net gateway and S3 endpoint. There is the only one internet gateway for VPC. Two elastic IP address are for net gateways. There is a S3 endpoint for both private subnets. There are two net gateways inside of each public subnet.